So that's phase one, phase two. Now you'll see how phase three is a different expression. It's going to take you into rotation each side. So how we play with this, the setup for this is you may want to move your chair. You're going to see what distance you need for your leg length. But what you're looking for is hands are on the chair. The most important thing here is your, that your knee does not come in front of your foot. You don't want your foot back and your knee forward. Make sure your foot is far enough forward so that the hip, foot that's back on the, on the wall, on the floor, allows that hip to open. You want hip extension on that side, which gives you down the back, shoulder blade, sit bone, tailbone into the tripod of the foot, up the front, inner ankle, inner thigh, internal belly, front of the spine to the inner ear, up. Because we want to come off the back foot onto the front foot, and then you place that foot right close to your sit bones. You really feel that reaching back as you go forward. It's as though you're reaching through the, the wall. You want to root through the wall. And from there, just feeling, this may be easy or hard for you. You want to see what does this feel like just to stay level at first. Sometimes it's a lot easier to go right into rotation. You want to stay here and just energize. Lift, I'm going to move my foot back just a tiny little bit. Lift and lower. See there's a, as I lift up onto the ball of my foot, I'm creating space in this hip. Then I think of keeping this hip light and lifted as I release that heel down. It's really incredible just to feel the spaciousness that you can create just by lifting through the ball of your foot. And it's creating space in my whole pelvis and in my sacrum. It's really, really important. So we do that a few times, and if that feels good to you, then you'll go to extension on this side, playing spiraling and opening and feeling the lift of the low belly. And then you go down and do, if, you, if this feels good to you, you're going to see what feels good to you. You don't push anything. Then you might go to a counter rotation, but you may not like the counter rotation right now. You want to see what feels good to your body. Going here, and it's always coming from the rotation, is coming from the floor, through the inner thigh, through the deep belly, to the inner ear. It's not just about pushing your rib somewhere or throwing your arm up. It's a whole body thing. It's firm, it's organic. You're like, you're growing yourself. You're expanding, you're opening. You're breathing your whole body. You wanna feel it, let yourself feel it, you see? We're not just doing an exercise. We're energizing ourselves. So what you'll notice is we're not in a competition here. We're playful, we're learning, we're discovering, and we're doing what's nourishing for us. And this is huge. So we invite you to come and play with us. So now let's take it to phase three. So everybody's gonna adjust the chair according to what feels good to them, and I noticed that I, I have to talk about my shirt because they just gave me this gorgeous <laughs> shirt, which I absolutely adore, and I keep noticing my tendency is to do that, and I'm not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to do this. It's supposed to be more current. <laughs> it is more current. <laughs> it is more current, yes. And I can feel myself being fed by that. <laughs> So, let's do right foot back, left foot forward, and feel the internal lift from inner ankle to inner ear as you're releasing back, shoulder blade, sit bone, tailbone into the tripod of the foot. And as you bend that front knee, you allow that right hip to come forward. Right, so you feel, how does that right hip release? This may actually be, does that feel like a good stretch for you? Um, it's pretty good. Does it, feel? Does it look short? You can go forward. Like yeah, that. you might even go forward just a tiny bit like that. How does that feel? Better. Yeah. See, so it's so great. So what, what we're all doing is asking. We're noticing. And be, re be just kind of looking at, is this working? Do I need to adjust? So from there, as you press off the back foot, come all, you're coming forward onto the front foot and then sending that foot back to the wall. And first we're going to keep it level. 
keep it level so that you're leveling out your pelvis as you go on the ball of your left foot and go up and down. Inhale. You inhale to stay up. Feel the lift of the hip. Exhale, lower that heel from that float. Beautiful. That's it. So you're playing with creating space. Play, creating space in the standing hip. The one that's on the floor. Yeah, that's it. Feel the lift. Yes. You might even be able to take, bring your chair back a little bit. Yeah. And yes, wonderful. And bring your foot down just a tiny bit. Beautiful. Yeah. So what we're doing, because sometimes you can't feel it or see it for yourself. You know, just kind of notice and come down just a tiny little bit. Right. So, you know, as you, as you level out, wasn't that interesting, Nomi? So you can kind of feel just a tiny little adjustment. can feel, yeah, Randy, and take your foot down just a tiny little bit, just about, about another inch. So you get more sit bone to heel, which will, which will ask for more lift on your left hip as you come up and down. All of these are really interesting things to feel. They're not corrections of something wrong. They're actually enlivening and being in our body in new ways. We're looking at, well, what, what does that feel like? Yeah, and as, we, as you've gone up and down a few times, then go into rotation. So now you'll spiral, right. And now put your hand, yeah, first on your left belly. So you can feel that as you soften both knees, inhale, Exhale and spiral from that left belly toward the right. So you're thinking of coming from your foot. How do you come from your foot to spiral? How does the back of your left arm work with that deep belly? Yeah, so it's like a spiraling through from your left arm to your right foot on the wall. How do you feel that on a deeper level? Yes, beautiful. Then go ahead and spiral in the other direction. You're going to counter rotate. And we're just going to do this a couple of times to each side with the same leg standing down. So you, you'll see what you might feel is, is uh, you might do it one time each side and then build toward doing it two times or three times each side. You want to see what feels good to your body once again. So right, as you counter rotate, the thing that can feel interesting is like let this heel go to the right more and notice how that brings that hip around more. Yeah, so you're reaching through the foot and how that gives you a deeper spiral. Yes, as you allow your heel to go more to the right, it counter brings your hip around more. That's it. And then come back and go back in the other direction again. Feel it again as you rotate and open. And notice you may have more space as you come back in this direction. You're opening right. Yes, and notice that the arms, your arm begins to be more connected to your arm that's standing on the chair. You can even look down and look up and feel how the standing balance here opens up the spine as you look down and up. You can feel how just moving your head can open your spine more. Let's do one more counter rotation. As your hand comes down, you counter rotate and go in the other direction, right? Bring your heel to the right, which allows your hip to come around, that's it. And then feel how you're opening up, right? And just feeling what feels good to your body in this direction, yeah. Yes, beautiful. And then come back to center, and then bring that back foot toward the front foot and come up to standing. So we see we're pouring ourselves back into our feet to stand up. And it just feels like, feel how having done that much, and you've only done one side here, we still have another side. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> so here we go, the other side. <laughs> and just know that this movement right here, phase three, is all about walking. It's all about contralateral gait. So as you're reaching back through one foot, your ribs are rotating and you're spiraling. So it's, a, it's an amazing enlivening of your body's natural gait, allowing that hip to release, feeling the 
left hip release forward, feeling the down the back of the shoulder blades, sit bone, tailbone into the tripod of the foot. And then we come off the back foot onto the front foot, feel the foot go to the wall, rooting through the wall as you go on the ball of your standing foot and inhale to lift that right hip up, keep the hip floating toward the ceiling, exhale the heel down. Inhale to float up. Exhale and keep imagining that you're floating your spine, your hips, your head toward the ceiling. You're creating more space. You're allowing your body to, to contact and open. So you open to space. Creating more space in your body. And Right, we've lifted and lowered a few times, creating that space, and then you're spiraling to open, bringing that side to open, and you can soften your knees, inhale, exhale, and think of how your head goes long as your foot moves through the wall. So you're getting feedback, feedback from the wall as you reach into the wall, that's grounding and you get internal lift away from the wall because that's our relationship to gravity. When we release into the foot, we get natural lift happening. It wakes up the domes of the body. And from there, we can spiral in the other direction. Counter spiral, letting the heel go to the left as we turn right. And reach through the wall as we spiral, inhale, soften, exhale, so we feel that internal lift, we feel how hands want to reach away from one another, or we're lifting through from the low belly to open up the chest, see what feels good to your body, we come back to rotation, and in this, in this rotation this time, you may notice that your arms want to reach away from one another. So you're feeling how do you get, how do you soften your knees and feel that internal lift happen from the right belly through the left shoulder. So your arms are opening up. How does your left arm come out of your uh, right foot? There's a grounding that happens, an enlivening, an opening that's happening as we're moving through coming from a coordination, a core coordination from foot to head and foot to hand and head to foot, feeling how the body is opening up and then counter-rotating again, coming back and beautiful, just feeling that, feeling that internal place of flow. Right. Yes. Feeling it as you play with this, you get more and more release. You don't have to do hip openings if what you're doing is releasing and, and having the body feel its ten, natural tensegrity, the natural way in which the connective tissue of the body, the fascia of the body, supports the muscles and bones. So what happens is when we allow our whole foot to open, the whole knee and the whole hip open. It's just natural. That's what happens. We learn how to not grip and hold through the joints, then hips stop gripping. All right, once you've done some rotations and counter rotations, then you bring your back foot towards your front foot and just come up to standing. Beautiful. Yeah. Fabulous. Good. Just wonderful. So let's go through it now like we do it as a as just a natural flow. So